Today on the channel, we're back at it with another Super 7 Ultimates Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles unboxing with Muckman and Joe Eyeball. And the spirit of Ultimate Warrior will run forever! Welcome back to the channel for another Super 7 Ultimate unboxing and review. And today on the channel, we've got Muckman and we've got Joe Eyeball. But remember, for all your Muckman and Joe Eyeball needs and a whole lot more, make sure you're not Entertainment Earth. Use discount code KYLE. Save yourself 10% on stock items. Anything over $79 does ship free. Got to get a deal out there. And if you go to the Super 7 site, go to Super7Store.com. Put in code KYLEP at checkout to support this very YouTube channel. Always appreciate it out there. But of course, we got a lot to get into with this big giant figure here. So let's dive into the review. And of course, we get the old cardboard box mailer. We don't get this anymore, but we used to. We used to. And here it is. And there it goes. See you later. Goodbye as we knock things over. That's the way it goes. Then of course, slipcase cover on these. We got the manhole cover. There's old Muck Man looking like a Muck Man could look, of course. Guy with a heart of gold, almost like a young Toxic Avenger in some ways. Classic turtle logo as well. See you later. Goodbye. Get out of here. And now we get into the figure. Old Muck Man and his companion, Joe Eyeball, looking very interesting right here. Looking very mucky is what he looks like here as Muck Man, but looking a little ugly. A face only a mother could love, or maybe even a grandmother could only love. Who knows? But a big, heavy figure, as we can see. Got that brown... Uh, Background kind of, I guess it's a yellowish brown kind of color behind him, but it really does pop against that green. Of course, the bricks around there. Turtles logo, Muckman Joe Eyeball. Bricks on the side once again. And then, of course, on the back, we got War and Peace. We got all kinds of stories back there. Let's see what this is about Muckman and Joe Eyeball. The garbage gathering ghoul and his parasitic pal. Mutated with muck and transformed with trash, this fuming former sewer worker oozes mysteri mysteriously through the city's sewer system. Searching for morsels of muck, sludge, and slime. Don't be fooled by the clothespin on his nose. That's not to keep the smell out. It's to keep the garbage in. But what does Muckman have besides a nose clog with gunk? He's got Joe Eyeball, the amazing three eyeballed and no-nosed a no-nose parasitic pal who decomposes his way through sewer pipes and can see through the thickest sewer stench. Oh my gosh. What a team. A match made in heaven right there is what that is. A young Elizabeth and Macho Man is what it is. There it is. Packaging. See you later. Goodbye. See you later. All right. Plastic prison. Big, heavy plastic prison. Muck me and Joe Eyeball. A lot going in this one. I'm going to take it offline. Get him out of the package. We'll be back talking all things Muck Man and Joe Eyeball. All right, got Muckman and Joe Eyeball, a two-pack, really, when you think about it, out of the package here. Not a ton of accessories to dive into, but a lot to dive into as a figure as a whole. But let's start with the accessories as usual. We do got two hands, the opposite hands, I think. No, different hands. Get a very kind of mutated skeletal green hand, very ugly hand over here on the right side. And then we get one with all kinds of crazy webbing over here on the left side as well. So different hands than these two. I like that. I like to choose my own hand adventure, but these are more deformed, gross-like hands is what these are here. Then we do get his big blaster gun. It's got bugs all over. You got two flies. You got green kind of slime going on against a gray silver weapon. It's almost like a big bazooka, but it's got like a pop can top over here on the side black on the inside of this one an interesting weapon but a lot to look at with this one as well and that's the accessories and i guess we'll dive into joe eyeball first and we'll look at his garbage can he lives in a garbage can like a young oscar the grouch probably the most famous person that lives in a garbage can is probably oscar the grouch i would have to imagine is there anybody more famous that lives in a garbage can let me know in the comments but you got like a young Heathcliff cartoon, you got a, a fish bones going on right there for the fish. Piece of pizza, a good looking piece of pizza here. Pepperoni caught on the side in that mutagen. You got a pop can, soda can, whatever that is. And then, of course, this plugs into the back of Muckman, as we do know. But it is a straight up garbage can here. And that's where Joe Eyeball calls home. As he does got three eyes, two big eyes over here. And then he's got an eye down on the side. He's also got little tentacles going on. And then he's got some arms. And thankfully, the arms do have articulation. Head 
head also has articulation. So a little bit of articulation here. Got all kinds of messed up jagged teeth going on. A dentist dream at the end of the day. And then he's got kind of a little uh, reptilian type belly going on and spots and stuff all over the body here. But he looks like a friendly enough guy with that face. Almost like a big football type head. And then you got the eyes up there on the head as well looking very crazy. But it looks like Joe Eyeball from what we know and what we've seen. Looks very cool. And of course, like we said, he lives in the garbage can. There he is. Feeling at home is what he is. But now we dive over to Muckman here. And a lot going on in this figure. And I guess we're going to start at the head on this one. Huge big head going on. Almost looks like he's got like worms out of his face. It's kind of like his beard is made of like worms or octopus tentacles or something. Looks like that. He's got the clothespin on the nose to keep the smell in is what that is for. Got two different eye sizes. One's big bulging out. The other one's a little bit littler. Uh, yellow with the black poop pupil. And then very red veins around there looking really creepy. And then you got green throughout and you got um, the, all kinds of wild stuff. Looks like his brain's kind of exposed and he's got a banana. Somebody's been monkeying around again. Watch out for those monkeys. Always monkeying around. But he's got a banana on the top right there. Even with the sticker. Is it a Chiquita banana? Who knows? We'll have to find out later. But very cool looking brain on the top. You got a centipede going across his head as well. Two very small ears on him uh, as well as that. So definitely an interesting head sculpt. Yellow teeth. Big tongue sticking out. Just a face only a grandmother could love. That's what we're going to say with this one. Getting into the arms, you got a soda can over here. You got more flies on him. You got a ripped up shirt going there. You got a worm on the forearm. There's just a lot to look at. Every time you look at it, you see something a little bit different. You got a spider on the inside there. Of course, the hand, a gripping hand on both sides. Trigger hand on this side. Very cool that we got a little bit of bones coming through, like a skeleton. Very ugly right there. Ripped up shirt once again. You got like some mushroom petals growing on him there. Uh, more flies. You got a flower on there, a big centipede crawling on his ripped up shirt that goes throughout the torso there. Once again, you get another dead fish on the side. And somebody's teddy bear got lost and put up in his guts there. A big spider on the front, another flower. I uh, even got some... Uh, a little veinage going on, and some drips out of him. It's just an ugly scene right here for old Mug Man. Hard, hard times. He's got the big hole through his stomach. You can actually see through the hole there. Very absolutely wild. And then, of course, the big hole in the back for the garbage can to fit into. We'll do that, of course. Uh, he's got the orange pants going on. He is a sewer worker, so it looks like he's got a prison outfit or a sewer worker outfit. And I guess it's a sewer outfit is what he's got going on here. he got a frog on the leg looking crazy. A little bit of knee sticking out with some bones. Some bones down below. More soda. Another perfect slice of pizza here. Is he trying to trap those Ninja Turtles? What's he doing with that? you got a half-eaten apple on the back as well. And then he's got more centipedes going through him. He's just a mess. And it looks like he stepped on a garbage can here. He's got a milk carton on his foot. Just looking absolutely wild. More mushroom petals down here on the side. He's got another apple on the back. Just a lot to really take a look at here for this figure. Just a lot going on. Articulation arm goes all the way around for us. Side to side, single jointed elbows. Hands removable back forth, side to side. Head, plenty of movement out of the head there. Very circular head, of course. Waist articulation, no ab crunch on him. You get the legs that go out. Of course, leg goes up. Single joint bend of the knees, side to side. And then you get some ankles. Uh, he's got that big sewer, uh, sewer lid cover right there looking crazy. Also kind of doubles as a stand for him. But man, a big, ugly, bruising figure if there ever was one. Uh, like I keep saying, a face only a grandmother could love. And you plug that in. He's ready to go. He's got old Muck Man and Joe Eyeball riding together as a team once again. Just very, very cool. Very interesting. And there is another version of this one, which we will unbox on the channel, which is very interesting because NECA had two versions of this figure, the glow-in-the-dark versions as well. Perfect for that glow-in-the-dark closet when that time does come. But you got the NECA version and the Super 7 version here. Definitely different looks between these two. Definitely different kind of go-to-market strategies. This is based on the cartoon. This is based on the old toy. And it's given a lot of uh, extra color and extra pizzazz to the Playmates toy of the 80s time frame. Uh, really bringing out some of the crazy stuff all over his body. And I think that is pretty cool. And between these two, I actually prefer the Super 7 one. I like that it's bigger. It's got more detail. It just feels bigger as well. Uh, as on top of looking bigger as well. But just a very good representation of Muckman and then Joe Eyeball. I mean, you look at the differences in size between these two. Night and day. Night and day. All day. 
So very happy to get this one in my collection. Really is a cool one here. Can't wait to dive into the glow in the dark one. See if there's any changes, any differences outside of the normal color effects there and the color of the plastic and stuff. But a fun one here and one that was on clearance for a long time. Hopefully if you wanted this, you got it at clearance price because I think I got this for around 25 bucks. Heck of a deal, if you ask me. A very good figure. Very going to be very fun to have in the collection. So there it is. That's Muckman and Joe Eyeball. What are your guys' thoughts? A pickup, a pass, a long game, a no game? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And of course, you made it this far. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, turn on the old notification bell. We got videos every single day and then some. We got even more content for you, of course, over on Patreon, including early access to both YouTube channel videos. We got videos every single day and you get them early as a Patreon member. Sometimes you get them years early as a Patreon member. That's the way it goes. There's a lot of content over there every single day. Thank you, everybody, for supporting the channel and being a member of the Patreon. You can also go over to ProWrestlingTees.com, search Kyle Peterson. And don't forget, Amazon and the exclusive hardcover at Barnes & Noble, my book here, The Complete Guide to the Jax Class Superstar Series. 700 pages. It's like a textbook, really, is what this is. But a labor of love if there ever was one. Thank you guys for your support on the book. And, of course, if you want an autographed copy with exclusive bookmark, let me know. Hit me up on social media, Sir Paul 64 on the X, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on threads, and on Instagram. So, for Muckman, Joe Eyeball, and the Complete Guide to the Classic Superstar Series, I'm Kyle. See you guys all real soon.